I'm Dave Conkle with the Great Lakes Renewable Energy Association. We're partnering with the City of Ann Arbor's Sustainability Office to help provide education and communication to the citizens of Ann Arbor about renewable energy and renewable energy's role in their A20 Climate Protection Program. Now that involves renewable energy, which of course the Great Lakes Renewable Energy Association knows a lot about, like you can see on the roof of this building. This is the Northside Community Center, which is the city's first resiliency hub. So what's a resiliency hub? Who's doing what? Who planned this? What is involved in having a resiliency hub? We're going to talk to some experts and find answers to these questions for you. Community Action Network manages seven community centers throughout Washtenaw County. Uh, we focus on education, housing stabilization, and community building services. Uh, includes things like after school programs, educational summer camps, food security, eviction prevention, utility child prevention, and various other uh, types of activities that relate to community building. The City of Ann Arbor's Office of Sustainability and Innovations was looking at ways to uh, find strategies that help, um, you know, address the negative effects that climate change have on under-resourced communities. And so this project came to light in terms of creating a resiliency hub um, as one of the key goals is shoring up the food security work that we do. This site, Catholic Social Services runs a food program out of this particular location, and their programs also include several refrigeration units. I think we have about three two-door systems. We have a walk-in freezer as well, um, and a couple chest freezers. Now that we're in the path of setting up these resiliency hubs, we can protect a lot more of that food so that when these crises do occur, we do have the resources to be able to help families. One of the very real challenges that we come across is inconsistency with our, our energy and being able to shore that up has a very profound effect. Not only does it affect our food security effort, uh, it also affects all of our other programs in, in pretty profound ways. The Homeland Solar has been in the city. We are an Ann Arbor company. We've been in the city in Washtenaw County for over 10 years now. We were able to place 33 panels on this roof, but that was not sufficient considering the load in the building. So we look to doing more of what they call ground mount. So this system in total is an additional 13 kilowatts plus the 10 on the roof, 23 total kilowatts of power for solar energy powering this building. I am the Sustainability and Innovations Director for the City of Ann Arbor, which basically means it's my job to implement A20. So a Resilience Hub is a community-serving institution that's available to provide critical services and support every single day, including during disasters. So we want to have a Resilience Hub in each of our five wards, and we have, as you know, <clears throat> one right here. You could also come in and charge your electronics, right, if power is knocked out, and so maybe you need to work, you've got critical services, maybe you have a life-saving device that you need to have plugged in. You could come and you could actually use that device here. And if you were in need, uh, food distribution as well. So you could come and actually get the meals that you need or we could be prepping food here for distribution as well. Resilience hubs would be one important feature, but there would be more. I think that we start seeing more uh, neighborhood tool sharing and resource sharing. We see neighborhood asset mapping. So neighbors understand the strengths of their individual neighborhoods and where they have particular vulnerabilities. And we start to provide the resources to help neighbors take care of each other. And that's not just in a disaster. That actually makes our neighborhoods stronger every day because you know your neighbors and you're able to support each other and you foster a greater sense of purpose and belonging. Sense of place matters and Ann Arbor is a fabulous community with a high quality of life and this is an opportunity for everyone to be able to take advantage of that. It sounds like to me this is a great opportunity to work together to prepare for whatever. I love it. Let's take, I'm taking that tagline. In November 2022, there is a ballot issue asking Ann Arbor voters to approve a community climate action millage. There are a lot of different programs included in that millage proposal. One of them is to develop a program for neighborhood and community resilience. This includes locating resiliency hubs in many neighborhoods. In this video, we wanted to help you understand what a neighborhood resiliency hub is and why you might want to support one in your neighborhood. We hope we have helped you. You can find out more information about this on the web at the link provided on the screen or just Google A20 Ann Arbor. Hey.